What up, y'all? Um, just want to take a quick second to, uh, you know, kind of reflect on everything. Um, I know I kind of want to be talking about sports, but uh, it's just so much going on right now in the country. And, um, you know, my mind really ain't focused on that right now. Um, just messed up what's going on right now. Um, I just want to say as a message to everyone who watches my videos or subscribe to me um i in no way um want any of you guys to um contribute to the destruction of your communities or um things um that can actually hinder um change happening um i don't support the rioting um i don't support the looting, none of that type of stuff. It's actually sickening to watch, to see, um, to see people's livelihoods being taken advantage of, to see property being destroyed and stuff people have worked their lives to obtain. And uh, even if it's major companies like Walmarts and Family Dollars and McDonald's and all that type of stuff, it's still not cool. Still not anything justified. Um, and also, I don't want to keep pressing this race issue either. Um, I don't want people to keep um, saying it's a Black Lives Matter thing. It's actually all lives that matter in this situation. Why? Because you have races forming against other races. You're pretty much just um, falling into the trap and, and what they want you to do, you understand? They want you to, to uh, wage a war against each other, you know? Um, and we shouldn't do that, whether you're black, white, um, multi-race like me. I'm Puerto Rican and black. My dad is black. My mom is Puerto Rican. Um, we, all are, we all a minority, you know, in some way. We all came from, um, we all originated in Africa. You know, all of us, we, that's where man was introduced and we all migrated to different parts of the world. That's why we have different skin colors and different um, languages and all this type of stuff. But, you know, like I said, I don't condone none of them actions. I do condone, I do condone um, you having a voice, um, but I do not um, condone people rioting, tearing up businesses, destroying police cars and stuff like that, you know, you're, you're actually um, becoming a problem. And if you look throughout history, um, the destruction of property and stuff like that and businesses actually hindered communities when they had all the LA riots that made the actual poverty rate skyrocket because those businesses no longer wanted to be in those communities in fear of um, retaliation for stuff that they didn't have control of, you know, so it's whereas if, if there are, um, a few bad apples in a bunch, you know, if you, if you buy a bag of apples and two of them are, uh, soft and have the brown spots, do you throw out the whole bag? No, you, re you remove those two apples and, you know, you just, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it any of us become um, filled with hatred towards each other. You know, I want us to all come together, you know, come together and, and you know, the best way for, um, like the homie Chisel the Donis said, <clears throat> which is a good channel, Chisel the Donis. I'm gonna try to leave his, uh, his uh, page in the description. He said that we don't need to riot. We don't need to loot. We don't even need to protest. What we need to do is um, start having more people become lawyers, become governors, become mayors um, that can fight for that cause. You know, the people that are uh, elected officials, elected officials don't press the issues. Going out looting, burning stuff doesn't. Luckily, I'm in Las Vegas. We had like a peaceful protest that became rampant because people wanted to stand in streets. They told people to disperse and they felt some type of way about that. But 
to see people beaten for protecting their businesses, to see people um, rioting, destroying communities and stuff like that. These are places you get your food. These are places that you get your your income, you know, and to see that type of stuff being destroyed is actually setting you back now once all this stuff clears because the smoke will clear one day. And if your community is destroyed and these businesses no longer want to be in that community, now the pro poverty rate in your community um, will rise, you understand? So, you know, it's, 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 it's really heartbroken. You know, you got people scared to leave their homes. I, I beg everyone to be safe. I beg everyone, if you want to protest, just don't do it. Don't get caught in the middle of that because, like I say, it's just it's just taking people who um, are there for the cause and don't want to cause any trouble and they're being, um, you know, um, picking it out because uh, of what other people are doing in other states, robbing people businesses. Um, it, it's it's disgusting to me. It's disgusting. It's it's horrible. We shouldn't be in fear of leaving our homes and being caught up in the middle of something where our own race, our own people, human beings will single you out, you know, because you're not standing with their cause, you understand? And that ain't cool where people are being taken advantage of, you know, because they don't want to stand with the violence. They don't want to stand with the looting. They don't want to stand with the rioting. It's not cool, man. It's not cool, man. So be careful when y'all go anywhere or do anything in your city. Hopefully your city isn't, um, our city, you know, Las Vegas is not um, burning and doing all this stupid stuff. But if you're in a Minneapolis area, if you're in the Midwest, if you're in New York, wherever you are, man, be safe, man. You know, if you have to stay home, you have to stay home. We already been locked up because it's coronavirus bullshit. So all I got to say, man, is be safe. R.I.P. George Floyd, he didn't deserve what he got, you know. And like I said, I'm with the cause, but I'm not with all the destruction and the chaos, you know. So everyone, man, all my subscribers, I apologize for not making videos. But right now, I really, you know, I need to get my mind off this BS, but right now, you know, I'm just kind of sitting back and looking at what's going on with the country and, you know, wishing and praying that it comes to an end in a peaceful manner, but it's too late for that, y'all. So be safe, all of y'all. Support your cause, but don't let, don't let your cause become something that destroys you and destroys the community and things people have worked hard for all their lives, you understand? So if y'all got any um, comments or anything, leave them down below. Um, it's just sad, man. And like I said, I hope all y'all are safe in one piece. And please, 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 please don't join in to the destruction of communities and people businesses, please, okay? So until my next video, which probably will be coming soon, hopefully I'm gonna I'm I'm try to Hook some up for y'all. Make y'all uh, a video to get y'all mind off this BS, man. But I, like I said, I apologize for for you for it right now. I got kind of a lump in my throat, man, because it's just sickening, man. So all y'all be safe and remember, all lives matter, not all just one race matter. You understand? Let's all support each other, whether you're white, black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Chinese, whatever, Asian. Support each other, man.